I'm alive. Hmm. Alright, we need to make room. How's it going guys? Wow, 62 in the live already. Oi oi. It's been a while since I've been able to catch a live. Thanks for watching, shall we? Make sure to hit that like button as you come in guys. We're on another mad building session. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure how it's gonna go. That's the thing from yesterday. That come out well, good look. Yeah boy. Uh -oh. Excuse me. Went on a mission before. I went to the shop and I was trying to find stuff to make a uh, a cuttlefish trap. So I found some paint pots and I found this big tub. And it's like a massive strong gorilla tub basically. So we're going to make some sort of cuttlefish trap out of this. I don't really know how I'm going to do it but I'm going to do it. I have an idea in mind. Yeah, we will see. It does look like an antler, eh? Turned out really well. Because of the white paint on it, it made it look pretty cool. Looks like Michael Jackson's face. All right. Yeah, so this, we're going to get stuck into this. All right, Rachel, how's it going? It's like, it's like daily building lives with smash fishing. <laughs> Alright, we'll get rid of them. Get rid of them. I'm literally just going to build this as I go because I have no idea how to build a cuttlefish trap. Yeah, going back to the old days, mate. But it's a perfect height, this, see? And what I'm thinking is I'll put the entrances at the top somewhere. And then uh, on Amazon, I've seen you can get these big glow lights like that. So I'm going to buy a whack of them. I'm going to put them inside with a load of mackerel heads. And uh, the cuttlefish, hopefully, will be attracted to the white entrances. So then, there come Diddy Dadly and through straight into there. And then at the end of a squid session, we'll pull it off and hopefully we've got some cuttlefish in it. But I was thinking about making some mesh flaps to go here. So when they push their way through, the flap will come down and then they can't get back out again. That's the idea. We will see. What's going to attract them? Glow lights and, and bait. Sounds like a plant. Oh, yeah. You right, Barry? Keep it simple. Exactly, mate. That's what I'm trying to do. But I do want some sort of hatch on the side where I can just unclip it. And then uh, I can just take the stuff out. Like, I'll probably catch lobsters in this. No, hen shooting, it won't be a struggle. Uh, I'm going to make it quite uh, light because uh, I'm going to basically put a sash weight in the middle. And then that would just sit down on the seabed. But it's a solid old tub, this one. So we shall see. We shall see.
Well, it won't trap an octopus. Don't know how smart cuttlefish are. I've had cuttlefish in my normal crab pots, mate. So this would definitely, it would definitely catch them. Going to be too heavy to put. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna have holes in it and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll see. And I've got, I've got this as well. So this will be right. This, this is the bottom bit. So that will be on the bottom. And then I'll rope it round, and then obviously these bits will cover that. Yeah. Yeah. I've got an idea in my head how it's going to go. Some sort of idea. Uh, Vance17, how you doing mate? Which video was the one where you made the lure? Uh, that was about two years ago, I think. Right, we need hole cutters. mil or 44 mil that's the question I prefer the smaller holes because then like the cuttlefish won't squeeze through anyway but hmm should we go for the big no we'll go for a smaller one because then we can do a series of four holes up up the sides Just out of curiosity, what stops them from leaving the trap? Uh, I'm gonna make. Well, the bait does anyway. If you, if you, uh, it was in one of the videos where we caught a cuttlefish in, in my crab pot, and the cuttlefish, once it was latched onto the bait, just stayed there for over an hour, just chewing on the bait. So this is only going to be thrown out when we're uh, when we're um, when we're squid fishing. See, so while we're squid fishing, we we'll throw this out, and then the cuttlefish will go in, start chewing on the bait and that, and then at the end of the session we we'll pull it up. But uh, I've done some research on cuttlefish, and if you can catch a big female, if a big female goes in there, loads of little males will be attracted to it. So we might catch more than one. You never know, or we might not catch anything. I don't know. But we will see. No, it won't be a long soak. It won't be days or anything like that. I'll check this out, look. Look. For all the sad sacks telling me about PPE. I found my glasses. Look at that, designer, baby. Good if we could time lapse a bit, eh? Get a female, kill it, put it in. 
Makes sense, Dan. Makes sense. Definitely makes sense. I need someone to poke this out with. Yeah, so we will see. I reckon we're going to catch in this. Especially when the cuttlefish come in like a lot, you know what I mean? Bloody strong tub, this one. She's looking good. And with the really high powered glow sticks, the uh, all the light is just gonna beam through these holes. Uh, from uh, Bill Gordon Ari on the bridge. What's a good bait? Fish baits. Um, the cuttlefish cling onto them and then they just, uh... see if I was making a video right now, I'd put a bit in, but um... Yeah, they just cling on and start chewing on it, so. This ain't the bottom, Edward, this is the top. And what I'm doing is, uh, you see where all the solid parts are? I'm not drilling any of them, I'm drilling in between them. So I'm only drilling the weakest part anyway. And this is about quarter of an inch thick, so it's uh, it's solid. You watch, we'll end up catching more lobsters in this than cockfish. Can't beat homemade crab pots. Uh, the cuttle smasher, that's what we call it. Cuttle smasher 10,000, baby. <coughs> so you get the idea, say this is a glow light. You see what I mean? That's gonna attract them from a long way. Oh yeah, I've got red glow sticks on the go and I've got um, green ones that I'm gonna get. Serious about the glove with commercial do it over here. Oh, I'll, I'll, give it, I'll give anything a go, Dan. We'll just see how it goes, mate. Sacrifice our love. Do, 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 do.
Hmm. It's very intriguing. We need some fire. How do we welcome Smash? Keith, I can see your comments, mate. Well, I can't read all of them because uh, obviously I'm trying to build something, but I'll chat when I can, that's for sure. Yeah, that's it, Epoxy. The idea is I'm going to keep the lip on these and I'm going to slot them in so they fit flush and I'm going to, I'm going to melt the ends off. Alright Scott Willow, oh, I'm getting stabbed by that thing now. I'm good thanks Thomas. But <laughs> That's right. Let's get this out of the way a minute. As my boss used to say, a clean working station is a good working station. Sacrifice our loss. Burn, baby, burn. Oh no! We open the door. Sacrifice our love. There's one, see, and what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll cut these little nobules off there and uh, I will just slot it in the side. Uh, Martin, yeah, I'm using sash weights, mate. That's for sure. Yeah, I've got the, I've got the door open and a window. Don't worry about the fumes. Sacrifice our love. Let there be fire on a Tuesday. Tuesday. Should be feeling hot now. I've got the there's a massive wind at the moment and it just blows all the air out. 
Don't worry, I may look stupid, but I ain't that stupid. There will be fire! Keep that to one side and close my bloody door in a minute. It's blowing an absolute gale. Chancey, yeah, I'm busy again, mate. Hi, Jay. You alright, Pete? Sorry? In there? Yeah, live again, eh? Doing a uh, cottlefish pot this time. Alright. I'm gonna drill a ton of holes in there. And then use these as entrances on the top. Okay. We're gonna put some giant glow lights in and it will attract them into the crab pot. Well, the so called uh, cottlefish pot. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps me sane while I can't go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, no worries. Take it easy, mate. Right. <laughs> I've been showing your, your grenade off. Eh? Yeah, I've been showing your grenade off. So oh, is it? Yeah. Who's that two? The kids at school, right? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. They're well made up. Half of them know it anyway. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> not your estate, your old estate. Oh, Le Yeah. Ah, alright. Yeah. See you later, Pete. Where's my knife? Um, oh well. Let that be fire! We have fire. Make sure to hit that like button guys, 263 in the live. Thanks for watching. I'm not talking at the moment because I'm just concentrating on what I'm doing. Let there be fire on a Tuesday. Any kids watching, don't do this at home unless you've got an adult with you. Oh wow, the likes went up loads then. Thanks guys, I appreciate that. It makes, it helps the live out, helps the channel. And then we will have fire on a Tuesday. Oh, that's really hot. Right, so what we've got here now, see, is the uh, these will slot into the barrel up to there, and then that gives me a good tying point to tie them on. So they were slot in perfect fit, and it would look like it came out of a shop. Sweet as a nut, mate, sweet as a nut. We used to make our own. I used to, I've made whelk pots in the past. Uh, just out of a blue barrel and then a piece of netting on the top with a little hole in. Maybe, yeah, hen shoot, that's a good idea. Bring in his own. <laughs> Ravi, I've always been creative like this. I always make random stuff. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Don't need that no more. All right.
I want to make the entrances high up in the crab pot because like, as I noticed uh, on the cameras, the cuttlefish are usually about a foot off the floor when they come in and they circle like round the pot. So if I make my entrances up here, see, they will circle round and then go into it. That is the theory. That is the theory. And I need a pencil. Or do I make them like this? Do I elongate them a little bit? And then uh, it makes it a smaller entrance and easier to go over the top with, with a little bit of mesh. Yeah, I might do that because the bigger cuttlefish are usually that shape anyway. So if I squeezed it like this, then, oh. Well deserved, mate, but where's the bevy? <laughs> oh, thanks, hen shooting. What a legend. Um, yeah, so that's my theory is to put it like that. Hmm. Queries. Hi Mark Smith, how's it going mate? Do it, yeah, might mean if a lobster does get in, it'd be harder for it to get out. Yeah, it's true. Hey Charlie, how's it going mate? Large ones, yeah. But but the thing is, that that entrance there is if I squeeze it, that's a four pound cuttlefish. That's a massive cuttlefish, you know? Like a big old egg. The old egg head. Right, cat. How do you stop the cuttlefish escaping? Uh Paul Taylor, I'll show you after. When this is in the hole like this, I'm gonna put a small flap of um, mesh over there. So when they push through, uh they will close on them and then they won't won't, won't be able to push their way back out. So either that or I will use cable ties and make sort of a spider web in it. 
You know what I mean? So like they will they will interlock like that and open as they come through, but then they're closed again. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm still thinking about it. Coming up, I'm closing the door. About to take my bloody door away. And that's why I'm not fishing, folks. <laughs> So I can stick him on the barbie. Time to bring the big guns out. The reason I'm not drilling holes on the sides yet is because I want to get the entrances in first. So then I don't like, I don't break the integrity of it too much. Get a big female in there and it will attract the males. Yeah, I'll be careful, dude. Uh, I do like building traps, yeah. I've always been, I've always made my own like crab traps and stuff like that. This is just something a bit different. Really old jigsaw. This. It's been well used. This old beast. Getting a bit past its sell by date. Uh, that's Jack and Jones here. It's definitely getting past its sell by date, this thing.
what a piece of rubbish that tool is, I'll tell you that. So the idea, if my calculations are correct though, chap, this should go in there. With a little bit of tweaking. So you can see what I'm getting at. It's like an overall shape now. So we need a wee bit more. Wow, good though, look at that. See what I mean, guys? Nice and overall shape. Well, we've got 327 in the live. Make sure to hit the like button, guys. We're building traps. trial and error. Trial and error Tuesday. Oh, we're nearly there, look. It's going to be a good fit. Look at that. She's a beauty. So we need a wee bit up there and a wee bit up there. Well, we've got the shape right now, so I'm just curious if I'm going to do this a little bit. That looks well good. Push that right on in there. You can get a big old cuttlefish in that. That's what it looks like from the inside, see? Boom. The Eskimo bloody whatever pot. See, he's a beast. Do I just leave, I might leave two entrances. I don't think I'm gonna put three in it. I think three's gonna to be too much. Uh, the black bin's just a gorilla bin, I think. It didn't have a label on it, it just had a price. It's only nine quid. You make. <laughs> what is the black bin you're using? Jobs are good, and we're getting there, yeah. I might leave it as two entrances, though. We 
Three is going to be well too much. I broke one anyway. Yeah, I'm going to leave it as two guys. I think those entrances are well big enough. Uh, yeah, if you heat them up, fish and bog, definitely. <laughs> Stress ready. I'm good. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. I'm good, thanks, Brian, mate. I like doing stuff like this. This is one big experiment. That won't work. I'm coming up with some weird ideas. Make a paper template for the first time. That's exactly what I'm going to do, mate. Shouldn't slag him out, helped you out at the start. Fistlock has never helped me, Samuel. Um, can I have a look at the Disgorger, mate? Yeah, of course you can. There you go. She looks a beast. There you go. Awesome. Stick a patent on it. <laughs> Yeah, right, yeah, we'll leave it as two then. I'm here faffing around. All good, thanks, Keith. All getting there. We're getting there, mate. Just a little bit bigger than that then.
Life's a good, it's all good in the hood. Set the hole. So they don't have... No, Daz, I want them to, I want them to be in front of each other. So then when they come in, it's, it's less chance of them being able to just get out, you know? That's my idea. Because like with that, you've got, you've probably got eight inches there that they can they can come in and go down with and then in the bottom here is where all the bait's going to be so they'll, they'll have to go in and down so it's harder for them to find an entrance that's the theory anyway love your foraging vids cheers mate appreciate that when the weather calms down, hopefully we can get out. I'll be happy to do some forages and some fishing. Like a mirror. Hope you're well. From your Scottish fan, I'm good, thanks, Mark. Hey, Jay. Where are you from? Guernsey Channel Islands. Um, drill. Oh, did Martin get a big ray? I haven't seen that one yet. I've seen, um, I seen the uh, post come up before. Uh, TA fishing's awesome. How will you cook the cuttlefish when you get them? There's loads of ways to cook cuttlefish, mate. Uh, hen shooting, I've got, I'm gonna order some big six inch glow lights to put in this. So I want it to be like a tractor beam. Pretty much like that, look. You know what I mean? It's like a disco ball. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that's, that's the whole idea. I don't want to waste my money on loads of little ones because I, I use those for my fishing rods. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Fits like a glove. There we go. Here we are. So the cuttlefish will swim in and then they have to swim down. And then I uh, go into my frying pan. What I'm going to do is pull those out that way. I'll tie a bit of string across. I'll bring them out. Woohoo! Looking good. We're looking good. Graham's a legend, Keith. Put a, I'm definitely going to put a GoPro in it. Uh, 
the chat looks a little bit toxic at the moment, so I'm going to carry on building until everyone shuts up. Thinking weights on top. No, uh, I'm gonna put a sash weight on the bottom. Uh, when I put the base on, I'll just tie a sash weight on the bottom and then uh, it'll sink down nicely, you know? I'll be happy days then. <laughs> it looks like a robot from Star Wars. I like it. It's actually turned out a lot better than I was, I was planning. I was going to put three, but I think with three, it would have been too much. I like it. Danny, there is no beef. It's just drama. Uh, Mr. Catch and Cook Smash. Uh, Cat, there will be some more coming. It's just um, the weather. Uh, hopefully the weather calms down in about five days, I think. Any cuttlefish? Uh, Jen doesn't eat cuttlefish and squid and stuff, that's why I eat it. <laughs> uh, you can catch them all over, Daryl, with cuttlefish. Uh, nah, I'm not interested in making stuff. Uh, not interested in making stuff and selling it, you know? No, we're not in lockdown over here. Right, well, I need to drill some holes. Uh, I'll use mackerel fishing bug. Well thick on the sides. Dee 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 dee. Maybe cut the entrances down inside of it. I don't know what you mean there, mate. Cheers, Ravi. Appreciate that, mate. Not to be toxic, but I love gossip. Uh, if gossip goes on too long, I get bored and I just can't be bothered with it. That's why you won't hear me mention anything. I just can't be bothered anymore. It's tight. I'm just, I'm bored of it. So it's just back to fishing and building. Smash fishing, baby.
bloody, I'm surprised how thick that is on the side. That's major. Uh, entrances might have to be. Cuttlefish from, yeah, exactly. It just makes it a little bit harder for them to get out. Doing a little. Uh, no, the weather's horrible here, Chris, mate. We've still got stupid winds. Have a great day, Jay. Can't wait to see this trap. Peace. See you later, mate. Netting. I've got a... Uh... Where is it? That's going to be on the bottom. It's an old crab pot lining. use this in the spider crab season as well uh, I might block those entrances up but keep them and I'll cut a hole in the top and then I'll use it for spider crab season uh, good thanks Lee cheers mate hey your in tubes are the wrong way around uh, no they're not mate what is it made from garden top oh, it's a builders top John bloody strong I think it's a gorilla tub I think every builder knows what a gorilla tub is Uh, Chancy, this will be attached to a very strong rope, so it's not going to go anywhere. And if I lose it in the spot where I can throw it, I can go get my spearfish and stuff on and go get it. So uh, I won't lose this. Oh, shit. I need something decent to get this out with.
Yeah, I watch all the UK Islander great contenters. Ah, oh, nice one. Have you, ever, have you always been so heavy handed with your tools? Yes, I'm very heavy handed. <laughs> What's up Jay, how are you doing mate? Just a question, but would you ever consider going to the US? Yes, definitely. Uh, yeah, he's heavy handed all right. <laughs> uh, do you have occupation outside of YouTube? No, uh, well, uh, I've got qualifications in carpentry and joinery. And uh, I used to do like block laying, plastering and like all building stuff as well. And fiberglass and like flat roofs and stuff. But um, yeah, now I'm a full-time YouTuber. Can you weld? I've done a little bit of arc welding before, but I'm not. I'm def definitely no expert. Four hundred and two in the live. Make sure to hit that like button, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, oh, sorry, I missed a comment then. Do you think tuna ban will be lifted in Guernsey? Maybe one day, Martin. Uh, I, don't, I, I really don't know. Guernsey are really weird with the fisheries and stuff. Tell you what, I wouldn't mind catching one. What's your favourite shellfish? Uh, abalone, lobsters, and stuff like that really. Uh, I like it all, so it's a hard question to answer that. Can you see all right, guys? Oh, yeah. The only problem with hole cutters. Do you eat shell on prawns? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, yeah, you can eat form bat rays. Uh, I'll be using like fish baits for for the bait for this, and uh, glow sticks. Uh, I'm just going to be chopping it out while we go squid fishing, and then uh, then pull it up at the end of the session to see what we can get. Oh, we get crabs in this as well. We're nearly there on the holes. Uh, that's why I've got the white entrances. Yeah, I've heard that white white attracts cuttlefish, so... Anyone got the time?
Don't forget to leave room for the door. I don't know if I am going to leave a door. Uh, I was looking at it and uh, I can get my hand in there quite easily. So I think I don't think I'm going to put a door on that. Oh God, everyone's from different parts of the world, eh? Oh, 10 past five, that sounds about right. Yeah, that's... Um, we got beef burgers for tea. Wow, good. I quite like this. Do I put one there? Yeah, put one there. Right. There we go, guys. Ha <laughs> ha! It's like a rave in here, look. <laughs> I love it. That looks well good. Quite impressed with that. Right, let's clean my bench off. Clean bench is a safe bench, as they say, old chap. Right, there we go. She's looking a beast. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Gonna go dress up like a cuttlefish. <laughs> Jay, your clear posh voice cracks me up. It makes me feel posh when I've got glasses on. So good day, old chap. How are you doing on this fine evening? Right, I'm gonna have a ciggy break. I've been trying not to smoke today. I'm not doing too bad. I've only had one fag today and I'm having one now, so. All right, calm down, Boris. <laughs> Sounds like Attenborough. Yeah, I should do a video just talking in that, that voice, eh? 413 in the live, thanks guys. Legends. Make sure to hit that like button, it goes a long way. There's a laundry basket. Yeah, it's just a really strong laundry basket. Rothman's good. Don't forget to get, yeah, hit, get some merch if you want some guys. Helps the channel out a lot, that does. You could make some of these into tutorial videos. They'd get so many views. Yeah, I can do. Um. 
Yeah, I like that. That looks well cool. Can you do your merch on an iPad? Yeah, I think you can, Dan. Can you make a shrimp trap? Yeah, they, a shrimp trap's actually really easy to make. Uh, I've tried a vape, but they make me cough. Uh, I cough like mad if I have a vape. <coughs> so I cough when I have a fag. Jay, you clever sausage. <laughs> Sit down and have a chat for a minute, guys. Uh, a cuttlefish will fit through the holes easy. Do you just make your traps out of material, uh, general material? Do you have to go actually fishing grade stuff? No, this is just this is just a builder's bucket. This is a builder's tub, and those are painters' tubs. Uh, I I don't believe in spending a lot of money to make crab pots and stuff. See. So uh, I just make it out of whatever I can. And whatever tools I've got, I would just use whatever I can to make it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I'm not interested in vapes. I've seen that thing on YouTube as well, where they've done the vape, the weed, and the uh, cigarette. And the vape, the, the white gunk that came out the vape, but that, blah, blah. Like, I'm not saying fags are any better, but yeah. Uh, I still don't trust them. Right. Where's my pencil? Uh, there is a Smash Fish and Fanny pack, Danny. I've tried chewing gum and I don't like it. It's disgusting. Pour some. Uh, the lead would melt it, Keith. Oh, I pee my bank account. <laughs> Five in the live, <laughs> right, guys? 
I would definitely rock a Smash Fanny pack. It's all in the merch site. If you want some merch, go check it out, guys. Thanks. Bam, 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 bam. That looks wicked. I need some cable ties just to fix it there. I ain't got any though. Cuttlefish. Dun, 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 dun. That's a... Oh, nice one. I couldn't put the word. <laughs> oh, Rachel, thank you very much. What a legend. Thanks for the lives, Jay. Oh, thank you very much, Rachel. I appreciate that. Danny, I'll have to change my name to Whiplash. <laughs> right, I need a drill. Ah, uh, thank you very much, Rachel. You're, you're an absolute ledge. Oh my god, I need some sharper drill bits. What is wrong with my drill bits? We found it. This is the one. All we need is cuttlefish. Da, 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 da. All we need is cuttlefish. What I'm doing guys, I'm just going to bind it straight through all the way down and that will hold it into place nicely and then when I'm finished I'm going to drill a series of 10mm uh, holes all the way underneath and I'll wrap it in 10mm rope around the bottom and that will make sure it's solid you know Thank you. 
Dun, 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 dun. Beautiful. Lined up quite well, that did. Have you checked the... It's looking sick that. You're getting there, Holly. Really getting there. It's smoking his mouth. Rizzler's there. <laughs> Cheers, Donald. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's very similar to a lobster trap, mate. Very similar. Watch them pinkies. Tried a bit of smoked lobster last week. You want to get into that, Jay? Oh, I'll try it. Building a codfish trap.
Love is all we need. Right, there's the first pot. Get all the crap out of it. It's quite a cute little pot, isn't it? I like it. Star Wars, Star Trek, or uh, I'm not bothered. As long as the film's good, I'll watch it. I'm not a big fan of a lot of things. Apart from uh, fishing and foraging. This trap is looking brilliant. Cheers, mate. Nice one. And by right, once I cut that semicircle out, that bit there will fit on that bit. We are on the win. What do you call a couple that loves fishing? Fishaholics. No idea. Are you going to paint the trap a brighter colour pink? No, I'm not. Um, what I'm going to do is leave it like that. And then there's going to be some massive glow lights in there and a big bag of fish heads. And uh, that will attract them in from a long way. To be fair, I'm going to catch, I'll probably catch lobsters in this as well. I'm Batman. She fits a beauty. There you go, guys. Look. Lovely girl. Where's Sam? Sam's not coming over now. He's probably only just finished work. Really hope it works for you. you. Know you spent all this time building it. It's a bit of fun as well. Bailey went fishing, right, mate?
Sam coming over on the weekend, maybe. Are the glow lights electric or... They're just snap glow lights. Uh, I do have one of those lights that you can plug onto a, a car battery. But I don't think the lead's going to be long enough to put in this. Love is all we need. Very, very nice, yeah? Shall I go live tonight, guys? Yeah, go for it, Dan. What's hilarious, honey? Let's have fish cakes and scampi. Oh, nice. Where's the door going? I'm not putting a door on it. I could just reach in and pull out the uh, cuttlefish.
<laughs> We're nearly there. It's looking good. Just got one more little bit there to do. That's looking like a really mean pot, isn't it? How long? Uh, it's, these are only going to get thrown out when we're squid fishing, really. Just as a tester, really. But yeah, because we're going to be putting mackerel heads in it, we could even catch a conger in this. You just never know what you're going to get, really. All we need is a knife. A Batman symbol. Uh, no, I haven't had crayfish yet. Wouldn't mind catching one though, that's for sure. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind out there, it's mad.
ba 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 I love making stuff like this. Brings me back to when I was like, when I was a kid with my dad, making up the crab wheels and the uh, crab pots and that. Sorry I'm not answering much comments guys, I will be in a sec. I just want to get this bottom tied up. Booyah! Complete! Nearly! Smash that like button guys! Thanks guys! Uh, squid and cuttlefish can go massive! Better slap a smash fishing! <laughs> That's all good mate! I don't mind. End of the day, I make YouTube videos for people to uh, get ideas from. So if you want to make one of these, by all means, do it. Send me the send me the pictures of what you catch. Are these effective, Smash? We will find out, Joe. This is just a uh, a prototype, as they say. <coughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
looks like an igloo. That looks well cool. Well happy with that. It's amazing how strong that top really is. How are you going to weight it? I've got a uh, sash weight in my front garden and inside here I'll put a sash weight on and then I can just cable tie it to the bottom and then that, that will just sink down nicely that will. Booyah! But what I am going to do is wrap the bottom in rope and uh, I need to put some sort of baiting needle inside it. Right, but I'm gonna end the live there guys because uh, I'll go live later when Inglorious finishes his live and then we'll finish the crab pot off. Uh, I've got to go have some tea. I haven't eaten today and it's it's gone five o'clock. Um, yeah, I'm starving, but that's a good start to it. Obviously, we need to fix these in and then uh, I think I might make a hatch on the top to, uh, to get stuff out with. So I might cut that out. And then uh, for the spider crab season, I can change the entrances. So yeah, that's that's how it looks so far. She's a beast. If you got any comments, guys? Going live at eight. Later smash. Jay put some Y cuts in the rim of the white bucket so it breaks. Don't break the rim. Oh no, they 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 fit fine, mate. There you go. That's that's how they fit. If it was any more, then yeah, for sure, that would have been a really good idea. Better slap a smash fishing decal on it before it before it's complete. Ah, it's all right, mate. You're gonna screw those buckets down and reinforcement. Yeah, I'm gonna do that later, Holly. I'll go live again tonight uh, just to fit. Whoop. Just to finish it. So, uh, yeah. I'm hungry, I haven't eaten today. How are you going to tie up so you can pull it up? I'm probably gonna put it on the side here somewhere. Either on the top or on the side there. Or I might just make a, a loop here. So it's like a, it pulls up from this way. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't decided, that's a good question. Jobs are good and thanks Math, really appreciate these lies. Helps more of us know in these times. Oh, cheers, mate. Great part, mate. Hope it fishes great. Yeah, hopefully, mate. I think, I think this will work. I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain it will. Either that or I'm gonna get a lobster, one of them. All right, Jay, how are you? Back in the shed again. Yeah, Jamie, it's, it's such bad weather out at the moment. It's just been a nightmare. If you want to see Smash making a lure, handmade bass lure, oak fishing lure. Yeah, that's on the channel. Maybe use some carabiners on four so Maybe, yeah, that's a good idea. Great live, cheers Amanda. Can you make a larger one to this? My mother-in-law, I don't know what that meant. Couple eye hooks and carabiners, yeah. Either that or I can just, or I can just tie a bit of rope, you know what I mean? It wouldn't take much to just tie a bit of rope through there. Yeah, some good ideas. Uh, you deserve food. Yeah, I'm starving. Trap looking good. Sam. Well, I'll see you later on tonight, guys. It might be about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. I'm not sure. But uh, I'll definitely go live again and then we'll finish this bad boy off. Smash is out for now. Thanks, everyone.